I mean, the trend right now is just that, that everybody's busy. Um, you know, we're seeing, we're seeing a lot more capital discipline. Um, uh, you know, a lot companies running maybe less rigs, but trying to get a lot more value out of them, drilling more, uh, infill type locations, kind of maximizing their value. But with prices, you know, appearing to kind of stick between that uh, $85 to $90 on the oil side and between about 6 and $7. And, you know, with all the forecasts looking uh, for even a rise in prices, maybe uh, a little bit moving into next year, um, you know, we're, just, we're seeing activity picking up everywhere from uh, the Permian to the Bakken. Um, and in particular, the, the the Utica, the Haynesville, the Marcellus, um, all of the all of the gassy plays right now um, are are very hot. Um, they're getting a lot less media attention um, than oil, you know, just because uh, you know uh, prices at the pump sort of uh, uh, distract everybody's attention. But I think natural gas may be the real unsung uh, hero of development over the next several years. Um, I, I think. The sky is really the limit, and uh, uh, we're going to just see a lot more activity in that space. Yeah, it echoes what we've been seeing, Khalil, for, yeah. for a number of months. I mean, those are those are all very active areas for us, and, and that's where we're focusing a lot of our efforts, a lot of our shifting of our manpower and who we have working what projects and, and things like that are all centered around the, the more gassy uh, areas of the, of the country.